Hello, I am the Balkan Architect and today I will teach you how to create foundation in Revit. Here I've got some four walls and I've got some columns, so I will show you how to create different types of foundations in Revit. First, we go to Structure tab, we find this foundation, foundation panel and we click on Isolated. If you don't have any isolated foundations loaded in, you go Load Family and you load one in. Now, we can't do this in 3D because we can't snap to the exact center of this column, so I go level 1, if you, uh, then you go and you go isolated and you find center, you place, center, place, place. Make sure that it says level 1 here or whatever is the level from which you want your foundations to go and we place this one here. Now, if you can't see your foundations here, you go to VR for view range and you set the bottom and the view depth to unlimited. Then you can see. You go apply, OK. Now, we go back to 3D. So here we've got foundations on these columns. Now we want foundation on our wall. So we go wall foundation. You can use shortcut FT and you just need to select the walls for your foundation. You go select, 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 select. After that you can select your foundations and you can go and you can choose other one. If you don't like the shape or the dimensions of your foundations you can go and go edit type and here you've got toe length, heel length, toe length is the part of the foundation that's on the inside and the heel length is the part of the foundation that's on the outside and the foundation thickness. So you can change the dimensions here. You go OK. If this is on reverse and it's go, you want the small part on the outside, you just hit these two arrows and your foundation is rotated but this is wrong in this case, so I will put it to be on the outside. Now, once we've done that, we're gonna delete it all, because let's say we don't like these isolated and wall foundations, we want a huge slab that connects everything here. So we go hit slab, and now we need to draw our boundary. So I go back to level 1, I go to rectangle, and I put a little offset let's say one meter, a hundred centimeters. So, I zoom in, but this is in millimeters, so we need to go thousand, I was wrong. And here we go, we hit here, and there you go, we've got foundation. If the span direction is wrong, these two arrows show what the span direction is. This is wrong, span direction should be going always on the short way or in this case maybe you want because of these columns to be going this way, that's okay, but if you want to change it you go span direction and you choose either this one or that one or you can draw it like this or like this or whatever. So you go finish You've got this span direction symbol, I don't like it, so I will delete it. And when we go into 3D, what happened here? When you check it, we see level is TO footing. That is wrong, I want it on level 1, so I change, and there you go. Maybe the thickness is wrong. We've got 15 millimeter. we go edit type, we duplicate, we create a new one. Let's say 150 millimeter. We delete the two, OK, we go edit type and we add another zero. So we go OK, OK, and there you go. That's some strong foundation. So that is the three simple ways on how to create foundations in Revit. If you want more simple tutorials like this and even some complicated ones later on, please subscribe for more videos.